Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.4 and problem number 3.51. Referring to the figure, locate the centroid of length of the mean center line of the strip with the dimension shown. So there is a strip formed into these lines. Our interest is to find the centroid of this composite line member. Now from the concepts of the centroid, I will divide this into individual lines like this is one line. First I will consider this line. Next I will take this line. Next semi-circular R and then I will take last three. I will consider a line one. This the vertical line I will consider line two. The semi-circular arc considered as line three and this is line I will consider this horizontal line as my x-axis and this is my y-axis and this is the origin. Now let us talk about line by line. First talk about line 1. So this is the reference x-axis, y-axis and this is the origin. Now let us consider line 1 of length 50 mm. So this is my line 1. The length of the line 1 is 50 which is at a distance of 100 mm from y-axis along x-axis. Now the centroid for line 1 is here. What are the coordinates of this centroid? Clearly we can see that y bar is 0 because this is lying on x-axis and x bar we need to measure from this point 100 plus 50 by 2 125 but we are measuring towards left side that is the negative of x-axis so you will get minus 1. Now consider the second line. At a, uh, this is the length of 100 mm and this is a vertical line. So this is my second line which is a length of 100 mm and starting from this point. The coordinate for the second line is here which is at a distance of 100 from y axis but it is towards left side so it is a negative 100 and coming to this coordinate this is 100 by 2 that is equal to 50. Similarly I can calculate Lx bar and Ly bar. Ly bar. Now consider the third line that is semicircle. This is my semicircle. The radius of the semicircle is equal to 100 that is given. The centroid for the semicircle is here exactly on y axis. So x coordinate is 0 and this distance you know this formula this is 2r pi pi. So I can calculate the y coordinate that is from this point to this point that is 100 plus 2r by pi. The length of the arc is equal to pi into r. The x coordinate is 0 because it is lying on y axis and the y coordinate is equal to 100 plus 2r by pi. 2r by pi that is equal to 2 into 50 divided by pi which gives the value of 63.66. So 100 plus 63.66, 163.6. So Lx bar is equal to 0, Ly bar is equal to 51389.2. Now consider the last line that is line 4. The length of the line 4 is equal to 50 mm which is at a distance of 100 mm from y axis and at a height of 100 mm from x axis. The centroid for the line 4 is here. So this is y 4 and this is x4. So clearly we can see y4 is equal to 100 and x4 is equal to 100 plus 50 by 2 that is 125. So the length of the line 4 is 50. The x coordinate is 100 plus 50 by 2 125 as we discussed and y coordinate is 100 and lx bar ly. So this is the table what we discussed so far. Once we know the table so I can calculate sigma l 50 plus 100 plus 314 plus 50 total 514 and I can calculate sigma Lx bar sum of all these things which is equal to minus 10,000 and sigma Ly bar sum of all these things 61,389. Now I can calculate the x coordinate of the centroid for the given figure sigma Lx bar by sigma L which is minus 19.5. The minus indicates the centroid is towards left side of the y axis and the y coordinate of the centroid of the figure yc is equal to sigma ly bar by sigma l that is 119.43. These two are the answers for the given 